shooting at Mall St. Matthew sent people running for cover this afternoon. Police are calling it an isolated incident. One person was taken to the hospital. WDRB's Molly Jett and Stefan Johnson have been following this story for hours. Let's get right to Molly with what police are saying about this investigation now. Molly. Good evening, Scott Hayden. I wanted to show you where I'm at right now outside of the men's side of the Mall of Dillard's here at Mall St. Matthews. I wanted to tell you that, like Hayden said, this was not an active shooter uh, that was here. They said it was very isolated. That happened between two groups of people. Like they said, they said that people are still being investigated here at the mall and that somebody has been shot in the arm and is at the hospital right now. We do not have confirmation on that that person's uh, health right now, but as of now, St. Matthew's Police Chief Barry Wilkerson says that that person was shot near inside of the lid store of the mall and police do not have someone in custody at the moment. And again, two groups of people were having that fight inside of the mall, leaving one person shot in the arm. Now, customers told us that they were told to take cover for at least an hour inside of the mall. And I know that more people are still looking to find out what happened. Police Chief Barry Wilkerson says that he is now looking for more people and trying to find out more as they review camera footage. We're still sorting through video as much as we can to try to figure out who all is involved and get better descriptions of the, the individuals we're looking for. This is a totally isolated situation, uh, unfortunately, that took place inside the mall where others were. Now, Police Chief Barry Wilkerson said that they got the call at around 345. Now, they said that, again, this happened inside near the lid store, but for now, they are still looking for someone. They do not have anyone in custody, and we will now send this over to our crew with Stefan Johnson, who has more information of, from others who were inside of the mall when the shooting happened. Live at Mall St. Matthews with photojournalist Greg Schapker, I'm Molly Jett, WDRB News. As you heard Chief Wilkerson say, this happened inside the mall. Some people reported hearing gunshots. Others said they didn't hear anything, but it was a very, very chaotic scene behind me. You can see St. Matthew's police still here on the scene, a small presence. St. Matthew's police is the lead agency, but they've requested backup from LMPD as we've been reporting. And then police have cleared out the mall. When we got here, the cage was closed, so you could not see inside Dillard's. That is not typical. Typically, they lock the doors when they're closed. The cage was closed, but then about 30 to 40 minutes ago, they raised the cage up and allowed some customers to leave, and that's when we got a better idea of the chaos that was going on inside the mall when the shooting happened. We talked to a customer who was inside the mall. She was actually inside Dillard's. She did not hear gunshots, but she said that once she uh, walked out of the ladies' room, uh, she heard security screaming for her to take cover, so she went back inside. Um, take a listen to what else she had to say. We finally came out, and an officer went running through and said, get back into um, hiding. So we went back in for about another 30 minutes. And then they announced over the intercom that it was okay to leave. Okay, so that was a customer who was uh, inside the restroom. She said she did not hear gunshots, but it was very chaotic. She said they were in the restroom for about an hour, and after about 30 minutes came out, as you heard, a security guard or an officer was yelling at them to get back in and take cover. Uh, the lady told us earlier that she was very, very scared and called her children, in fact, mm. um, because she didn't know how this was going to end. But again, about 30 minutes ago, officers or actually someone security inside the mall opened the gate and allowed several customers to leave. You can see behind me the parking lot still very sparse here. Uh, just a few cars and mostly police cars here as they cleared it out. We'll be here throughout uh, the evening and keep you posted on what we hear from police, especially if there's a, an arrest made. Reporting live with photojournalist Jeff Gordon, I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB News. And with all those cameras in and outside the mall, we have to believe they'll be able to hone in on some suspects soon. Thanks, Stefan.